Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our Apple Weekly News. Let's go ahead and jump right into the first article and this week we'll be focusing on the new iPhone 7 and uh, there's actually a lot of news going around about it and which some of it is rumored and unrumored. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about the first uh, waterproof and dustproof casing and the new touch sensitive home button. As we know uh, the casing around the new iPhone 7 is supposed to be waterproof and dustproof as it just listed here and the way this works is basically is exactly where the lightning cable char charger would be plugging in it would have like some sort of a gel feature which will allow it to adjust as you put in the um, lightning cable to charge it and I think this would be a very nice feature especially if you're worried about getting your phone wet just even a little bit and you think it's damaged and also I've noticed that my um, where I actually plug in to charge my iPhone it does get a lot of dust on the inside of it so if there was some sort of uh, protective gel there too on the outside that wouldn't hinder the use of my iPhone I think that would be perfect because then I would be able to charge it easier and it wouldn't no dust would be getting in the way of charging my iPhone uh, moving on we do have a next article here <laughs> which talks about the 2017 iPhone will be radical redesigned with Touch ID, FaceTime camera, and speaker embedded in the display. Now, uh, when it says 2017, I'm assuming this will be early January uh, 2017 iPhone. Um, we could even possibly see, since we haven't really heard anything regarding from Apple personally, we could see the iPhone 7 even being released in 2017 around January or February. And the way, reason I say this because last iPhone, the li most recent iPhone we've seen was the iPhone SE, which was released this year and it was released during the January and the beginning of the month period. And uh, I would want to show you guys this concept art. Um, this is an edge to edge design. Actually, this is simply concept art and don't <laughs> settle on this because this is simply a rumor. But so I could honestly see a design like this. This would be perfect. Like you got a quick access key to a flashlight camera, everything right there and the touch sensitive ID there as well. And I think this design right here looks very slick. Moving on, we do have the iPhone 7, which is, <laughs> there's a contradiction. I've uh, talked in my previous videos for probably about the uh, last couple months. I've not been talking about how the 3.5 mm headphone jack will be removed or even replaced with the new iPhone 7. Now, uh, there was actually some recent news that was leaked and uh, it might, they, there was just an image and the thing is, nobody really knows where the image and concept art came from, but it still shows the 3.5 mm jack within it. Now, uh, keep in mind that if they were to remove the 3.5 mm jack, you would you would be more than likely potentially looking at wireless headphones or maybe even Bluetooth headphones. And if Apple actually released the iPhone with with these uh, earbuds or headphones that came in it that were wireless, then that would be a full, full, full blown potential. Like there's already a market out there for wireless and Bluetooth headphones. Now, thus far, um, iPhone 7 rumors have dominated the internet <laughs> for months. Now, with talk of a touch sensitive home button, waterproof casing, new dual camera technology, and a smart connector for accessories. The smart. The most prominent rumor, however, is the rumor that Apple will be ditching the traditional 3.5 mm headphone jack. And if they did ditch that, that would give them an extra 1 mm of room to actually make the iPhone thinner by 1 mm. And I, I honestly, that, that small difference doesn't really matter to me as long as it doesn't bend when I put it in my phone, in my pocket, or when I sit. Um, I'll be completely fine. As long as it still keep its durability, I think it would be completely um, fine and as long as it works. <laughs> Moving on, last but not least, we do have the um, iPhone 7 Pro design, which was also leaked and then confirmed by uh, several sources. Um, there's actually this was the actual leak right here, this Scanamics right here, and it was labeled as iPhone 7 Pro. So we could be potentially looking at iPhone iPhone 7s, iPhone 7 Plus, and then iPhone 7 Pro. Um, last but not least, I do have an Oprah app. app. It's called the Oprah VPN. If you're looking for a VPN on your phone, I highly recommend this. It's free, it works very well, and you can block other things that you don't really want to be accessing, accessing your phone. It's uh, really well. have a link in the description for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next video, and later.